Former Miss America revealing her very personal battle with depression during the year that she wore the crown. ABC's Lindsay Janice has the story. At 17 years old, Teresa Scanlon became the youngest Miss America in more than 70 years. Now, two years later, the pianist and singer is speaking out about the pressures she says drove her to contemplate suicide. People just completely tearing me down and ripping me to shreds uh, every day. To some, I was too conservative. To some, I was too liberal. Uh, to some people, they say I'm too pretty. Others say I'm too ugly. Scanlon says a year of public criticism and nonstop engagements pushed her into a deep depression. I was hiking the Scottsbluff National Monument growing up. It was always my favorite place, but uh, this time was, was different. I was just falling apart and um, very strongly contemplating um, jumping off the top. That's when this small town girl from Nebraska says she hit rock bottom. I'm a perfectionist and I was putting a lot of pressure on myself through all of this. She's now taking medication to treat her depression and at 19 is starting her sophomore year at a place that couldn't be more removed from the glitz and glamour of Miss America. Patrick Henry College, a small conservative Christian school just outside of Washington, D.C. But even there, she says she's received criticism for competing in a swimsuit. There was quite a bit of, this was purely Facebook controversy, I think, that there were a lot of people commenting, though, that they didn't believe that it was congruent with Christianity. America Experts say Scanlon's willingness to speak out will make a difference. She is doing a terrific job role modeling the fact that it is absolutely socially and emotionally acceptable to suffer from depression. That's not something to be ashamed or embarrassed about, but rather to understand you can make it through and there's, there's hope on the other side and to, to never give up. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Janice, ABC News, New York. I had the pleasure to meet that young lady and uh, she was so inspirational to all of the girls in the pageant when I was judging it. So mm -hmm. thrilled to see she's doing so well. She, yeah, she is a great inspiration. Yeah. And you've gone from judge now to be one of the co-hosts. I am. This it's coming, coming up weekend. this weekend. So, yeah. We'll, we'll so look tune in, to that. everybody. Okay. <laughs>